Hello mate and welcome back. In this video we're going to carry on with setting up our environment. Quick bit of housekeeping. In the last video we added our images to a folder but if you look at the code the folder we were supposed to use was actually called clickables so I am literally renaming that now. Just go into your file explorer take the location buttons folder out of the UI folder and put it straight into the images folder and then just simply call it clickables and then it will still contain the name of the location as a subfolder and then the name of the item so what we need to do now is open up our folder that we've added all these icons to obviously mine's called waiting room yours can be called whatever you want it to be and we need to come into our variable defines and what we've got here is our first clicky we're going to copy that Control c and then we're simply going to paste that one more time add a space between and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a hash and a big long line of dashes and I'm going to put waiting room there and then just do that and then that just allows me to separate all of my items by room in my code obviously I still have to append which means if I'm using the item number for any particular reason inside the code I have to be very careful about adding things um, to the middle of the list because it will obviously change the subsequent numbers of all the items in the list so the first thing we have to do is change the name of the location to waiting underscore room because that is where it is and then we can look at our first item so my first item was a couch so what I can do is if I want to I can actually just click on the name of the item in the folder and then I can double click here and go there and then I'm going to paste that again there if we go back to our classes file we can see name and file name in case we wanted to call the file something different for example if we have a buttload of items all of the same name we can differentiate them by file name however We've got waiting room couch. Waiting room couch is located in the waiting room and it is an item. It is visible and when we hover over it, we want it to say uh, something like a comfy couch. That's what our tooltip will say. We need to put a one there. Now to save me having to keep cutting and pasting certain items of text, I'm just going to copy that line and then I'm going to paste it. And the next line is going to be the waiting room. Oops waiting room door so this one's going to be door 01 and then because the file name and the name of the item are identical we can just plop that there like that this is going to read uh we're just going to call this i don't know um surgery door 01 perhaps change the number at the end of two copy and paste now we've got a second door, which is door number two. So all we have to do is change the number at the end of this one. And then we can just change the number of this one as well. And remember to change that one. Copy again, paste that. This one's going to be item number four. It's going to be door number three. Because we've got three doors. And then we can simply copy and paste again. Now we've got pictures. So we're going to change this to a nice picture it's going to be oh perhaps if we type in a and not i let's just change that so it says a nice picture and then we're going to change the actual name of the text to read picture underscore zero one and then we'll just double click on that control c double click on that control v change the number at the end to number five control c control v then we've got pictures two and three so we might as well just paste that twice and we can change this to six and seven we can just change this to say something slightly different and then we can just change these numbers so that says two that says three that says two and that says three next file is going to be the trash can so we can just type in I'll just do it the easy way because I'm lazy. Control C and then Control V, con Control V, and then we can say uh, trash can 
dot 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 as if to imply yes you've noticed a trash can why are you asking me what it is copy and paste that because we have two trash cans as well and then we can change that to say number two there and we can also just change the text here so that we know that it's different I'll change that number at the end there next thing we've got is the vending machine so i'm just going to copy the text from the file name and we paste that in there paste that in there and there a super duper vending machine save that type number 10 and next thing we've got is the water fountain and the window so we control c and we'll just pop those both in there so we've got 11 and 12 the first one is a water fountain drinking fountain and then the last one is a window and then we can just change the names of the these here control v control v and then we can just go control c there control v there control v there next thing i'm going to do is where it says where i set the location currently location says bedroom so i'm going to change that to waiting underscore room which is going to mean that i am going to appear in the waiting room and then i'm going to be able to test my code so the very last thing you need to do before you test your code is obviously move your images of the locations themselves into the backgrounds folder which we've already created so make sure those files are in there and then when we run the code what you should be seeing is your location nice and swanky looking and then as you move around and hover over things you should be seeing your your tooltips appearing basically you've got a window there we've got our vendor machine we've got our couch trash can door picture door picture door picture trash can water fountain happy days so that's how we set up our environments in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to set up what's going to happen when we click on those things thanks very much for watching that one guys i hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below keep me updated on your progress and i'll see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye